Welcome back everybody to the fifth video tutorial for the Netgear Aircard Smart Cradle. Um, in this particular tutorial I will demonstrate how to enable remote management and also how to access uh, the web UI remotely. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is firstly set up uh, the APM profile to Telstra.extranet. Now, in order for um, Dynamic DNS remote management um, to work successfully, um, you need to have an APN which is providing you with a real IP address. Um, so by default, Telstra provides the Telstra.internet APN. Uh, which is a default profile cre created on our mobile hotspots. Um, that particular APN profile uh, sits behind a firewall, which is usually NATed, um, so it doesn't provide you with a real IP address. Um, in order to get uh, Telstra.extranet um, provisioned on your SIM card, uh, what you need to do is call Telstra on 125111. Um, and ask the operator to add the code GPTEXB3 uh, added to your uh, SIM card, uh, which is the code that's displaying on the screen at the moment. Um, so once the operator has added that particular code to your SIM card, uh, that will allow you to uh, provision the Telstra.extranet APN through the mobile hotspot. So what you need to do is bring up your web browser um, and to uh, get to your mobile hotspot it will be 192.168.1.1 or m.home. Uh, once you're in you can log in with your admin details. Um, so the default uh, password is admin. Um, but if you have modified that and you have forgotten your uh, admin password, you'll need to reset your um, mobile hotspot back to factory defaults. Um, so once you've logged in, click on settings. Uh, then click on network and click on APN. And what we want to do is we want to add a new APN profile, which is Telstra.extranet. And this is the default profile that comes with your, uh, your service. So uh, Telstra.internet is the default profile, but we will add a new one. So the name, I'll just name it Telstra Extranet. Uh, the APN is Telstra.extranet. And we'll leave everything else as default. Click on save. Um, so one thing I'll quickly show you is uh, when you're with, when you're on the Telstra.internet profile, uh, which sits behind a firewall and is usually netted, you'd probably get a, a 10 dot address. Um, then once you switch over to the Telstra.extranet profile, you should see a, a 120 address, which allows you actually, which is a, a real IP address um, displaying on, on the internet. So that basically shows you how to provision the APN profile. Uh, we'll continue with the rest of the tutorial. Um, so basically the first thing you need to do is actually open up your web browser and go to the web UI. So by typing in 192.168.100.1 um, or netgear.cradle. And again, you will need to log in with your um, admin login details. Um, and that's found on the label that's underneath the cradle. Um, if you have forgotten, um, if you've actually modified and forgotten the uh, admin login details, uh, you would need to reset the smart cradle back to factory defaults uh, before you can continue. So once you've logged in, you click on advanced again. Uh, then you would click on advanced setup to expand the menu. Um, and then you'll see down here remote management. Click on remote management. Then you'd tick the box that says turn remote management on. Um, and you can leave it at the default port number of 8443 or you can modify that port if you like. Um, and you can set it, it's, by default it's set to uh, allow everyone to access. Um, but you can actually 
secure it by giving a particular IP address range that can access it um, or just one particular computer that can actually access it. Um, so once you hit apply, uh, it will reboot uh, and the way that you can access the web UI remotely is by just opening up a web browser um, on a PC that's not connected to the DC112A Smart Cradle um, and punching in that particular uh, URL. So you'll notice this particular IP before the port number is actually the WAN IP that's assigned to the mobile hotspot or to your uh, fixed line connection. Um, in order for this to work successfully with the mobile hotspot, you will need a SIM card provision with an APN that will provide you with a public IP address. Uh, so with Telstra, it's either telstra.extranet um, or if you've got a Big Pond service, then you can access it uh, by the WAN IP that's assigned to Big Pond because it's a public IP that gets assigned to a Big Pond account. So I'll click apply. So now if I wanted to access the uh, Smart Cradle remotely, now that remote management switched on, uh, what I can do is I can go into, uh, back into my Smart Cradle, uh, log in as admin, click on advanced, click on advanced setup, uh, go to remote management, and I'll just copy this particular URL here. Then I will disconnect from the Cradle, Just paste in that URL. Log in again with my login details. And I'm in. Thanks again for watching.